Greed always breeds crime and holds progress and prosperity. The personal ambitions of a few tribal chiefs in Baluchistan have held the province in a state of fear and lawlessness. As a result, peace and development have become the prime casualties. But every cloud has a silver lining. Balochistan, the biggest province of Pakistan, is located at an extremely strategic position in the region, flanked by Afghanistan and Iran, and close to Central Asia and the Middle East. Tribal conflict over often trivial issues is the biggest hurdle for human development. Baluchis are said to be a martial race. Their history is traced back to the 350 BC when Alexander the Great had passed through this area. Others think that they are basically a mixture of Patans, Afghans, Arabs, Mongols, Aryans, uh, and other, other people who had come from time to time from different parts of the, from the north and from the other areas. In spite of all the natural resources in this naturally rich province, the people of this area lead a primitive life of poverty and hunger. Their tribal ways and customs make them averse to accepting the light of progress and civilization. Still preferring to live in the shanty towns, they're unfamiliar with quality lifestyles and modern civilization. In 2001, the government of Pakistan initiated several mega development projects, like the Gwadar port, the Makran coastal highway, and several dams for the uplift of this most neglected province. A few miscreant tribal elements tried to block this development work. Their attempts were checked by a timely military operation. Lorelei is the principal city of Lorelei district in northeast Baluchistan. Near this town located on Chamalang mountain range is a 60 kilometer long and 20 kilometer wide coal field commonly known as Chamalang Coal Mine. The Chamalang Coal Reserves were discovered in 1885 during British rule. Extraction work started in 1973. It was expected to usher in a new era of development. But instead of prosperity, a bloody war started between the Pashtun Luni and Baluch Mari tribes over the ownership of the mine and resulted in many deaths during the last three and a half decades. All attempts of successive provincial governments to find a peaceful settlement have been in vain. The head of Luni tribe, Sardar Ismatullah, made a request to the government seeking the role of the Pakistani army as an arbitrator for an amicable resolution of this conflict. A similar demand was made by the elders of Mari tribe during the visit of the general officer commanding 41 division to Kohlu in April 2006. The Pakistani army intervened to resolve this old and complicated blood feud. Other than initiating negotiations between the two main tribes, 
Consultations were also held with the heads of sub-tribes. The thorny issue of the murdered tribesmen was amicably settled by monetary compensation. Eventually, a peace agreement was signed by the tribal chiefs in December 2006. The area was heavily mined by the feuding tribes. The Pakistani army demined it completely and launched a multi-pronged strategy to bring peace and progress to the region. On the one hand, it encouraged inter-tribal dialogue and, on the other hand, it started a comprehensive social uplift program. The Pakistani army focused mainly on education, health and communications. The army has used its long and rich experience to bring fast social mobility to Balochistan. The Chamalang Beneficiaries Education Program was launched with special emphasis on educating the children of the Mari, Luni and other tribes of the area. موسیقی इतने विलिंग स्टूडेंट साबित हुए कि इन्हीं 25 बच्चों में से अब दो या तीन ऐसे बच्चे हैं जो पोजीशन ले रहे हैं क्लास में और बच्चों के साथ पूरे कंपटीशन में वो आ गए हैं। They were living in caves, they were living in the stone life. You just cannot imagine where they were living. So you have to take that child out of that environment. You have to enable that parent to send the child to the school. And when I say school, it has to be a good quality school. In the interest of not only Mari tribe, but also in the interest of Balochistan and in the interest of national integration. The Pakistani army initially helped the tribesmen with medical camps, but as conditions improved, a health coupon system was introduced. Chamalang is emerging as a modern town. Telephone links have been established. The army developed an 85 km long road from the coal mines to Mehtar. But the real wonder of wonders is the establishment of the Chamalang Guards, consisting of more than 2,000 tribesmen. Once they were committed to stirring unrest, now they are ensuring safety and stability. Their duty is to keep security at the coal fields. It's a measure of the strategic success of the army that local people now own the entire process themselves. A unique transition from terrorist to useful citizen working for humanity now. Mining started in March 2007 again and more than 65,000 people are directly employed at the coal field, while 30,000 more have found indirect employment. More and more tribesmen are opting to work at the coal field, as it's financially more rewarding and liberating than cattle farming and other traditional forms of livelihood. Coal, worth 300 billion rupees, or 4 billion dollars, is produced every year. A labourer can earn 30,000 rupees a month, which he would never have had a chance of earning before. जो अंदर कोयला निकालने का काम करते हैं, मंथली तकरीबन कोई 30,000, 28,000, 32,000 ये उनकी सैलरी होती है. A bazaar has sprung up at the foot of Chamalang mountain range. Local people say they're grateful to the Pakistani army for resolving their age-old blood feuds and for helping them to help themselves. सर पाक आर्मी की वजह से ये काम जब स्टार्ट हुआ Chamalang is already the second largest revenue generating city of Baluchistan. With the increase in economic activity at the coal fields, 
the government of Balochistan has allocated 1.3 billion rupees for the construction of a modern labor colony, clean drinking water facilities, a hospital and schools for the people of Chamalang. Balochistan has greatest treasure of coal and other precious minerals. Small wonder it's called the Black Pearl of Asia, having the potential to sustain Pakistan's economy for a long time to come. Many schools have opened in the remote areas as a result of the Pakistani army's literacy drive. The Chamalang Coal Project is designed to eliminate insurgency forever. It's a model of social welfare to crush an evil force in society. This society was drowning in the darkness of ignorance. The Mari tribe was held in the chains of slavery. They were helpless and unaided. They were living in caves. They were given only just enough food to remain alive and keep on serving the tribal chief. The army intervened shared their misery and pain. This was a journey of sacrifices. Jawans and officers of the Pakistani army lost their lives and limbs, but they were determined to bring these people out of the darkness. And the opportunities which they are now enjoying for the first time in their lives are the fruits of their efforts and sacrifices. Chamalang is the beginning of a new civilization of social, political and economic advance. The backbone of the Mari insurgency has been broken. Hands which were once used to raise arms against the people of Pakistan are now working side by side, exploiting the Chamalang coal mines. Every month a billion rupees is distributed among the employees of Chamalang. The people of this area are now part of mainstream Pakistani development and are rubbing shoulders with the leadership of the country. So now they have stake in Pakistan, now they will defend this uh, project, now they are the defender of Balochistan, they are the defender of Pakistan and I salute them, they are great people, they are great friends, they are most reliable, they are very honest if you handle them in a respectful manner. <laughs> Hope is written large on the faces of the people here. Greed always breeds crime and holds progress and prosperity. The personal ambitions of a few tribal chiefs in Balochistan have held the province in a state of fear and lawlessness. As a result, peace and development have become the prime casualties. But every cloud has a silver lining. Balochistan, the biggest province of Pakistan, is located at an extremely strategic position in the region, flanked by Afghanistan and Iran, and close to Central Asia and the Middle East. 
tribal conflict over often trivial issues is the biggest hurdle for human development. Baluchis are said to be a martial race. Their history is traced back to the 350 BC when Alexander the Great had passed through this area. Others think that they are basically a mixture of Patans, Afghans, Arabs, Mongols, Aryans uh, and other people who had come from time to time.